Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we're going to be checking out my 9 favorite jailbreak tweaks for iOS 9. Jumping right into our list at number 9, we have a new jailbreak tweak for iOS 9 called Breadcrumbs Away. As you notice in the top left hand corner of your screen a lot in iOS 9, if you tap on a link inside of another application, you're going to see text that says like back to the previous application you were using. Well, for whatever reason, that just completely eliminates the entirety of the left-hand side of the status bar. So if you don't want that to happen and you still want to see your loading indicator and your cell strength and the name of your network, all that good stuff, you can install breadcrumbs away and never see that back indicator again. Moving on to number eight on our list, we've got an also new jailbreak tweak called Hide Settings Search. Once again, a new feature added in iOS 9 was in the Settings app. If you swipe down a little bit, you would see a search, which would search pretty much every setting that you could configure on your phone as far as stock iOS goes. If you don't want to see that, however, you can install this tweak once again called Hide Settings Search and never see that search bar again. At number 7 is Switcher Badges. Now, as the name implies, this does exactly that. It adds app icon badges, like the little one or two on an app on the home screen, straight to the top part of the app switcher. So for example, I let a reminder slip by, you can see that I've got a little one on top of the icon on the home screen. Well, with switcher badges installed, if I head over to my app switcher, you're gonna see that one right there on top of the reminders icon, just like that. Moving down to number six already is Easy Respring. And if you ask me, this is a jailbreak tweak that I feel would make a whole lot of sense if it was included in stock iOS by default. Basically, when you're in the app switcher, you know that swiping up on an application to kill it from the app switcher will remove it from there or kill the app. So with Easy Respring, you can swipe up on the home screen app card and it will kill Springboard or basically respring your device. Moving down to number five on our list, we have Spotlight Be Gone. And similar to other jailbreak tweaks on the list, the name is pretty self-exclamatory. Basically, this jailbreak tweak just eliminates the need for search everywhere on your home screen. You can see that swiping down no longer does anything, as in the preference panel for Spotlight Be Gone. I have that part disabled, but not only is that disabled, the Siri proactive search section has also been disabled. So if I swipe from left to right on my screen just like that, I cannot access that menu either. Now personally, I don't think I would want to disable these because I find them actually to be quite useful in iOS 9, but in case you would, then Spotlight Beyond is the tweak for you. Moving on at number 4, we have Skippy, which is actually one of the more useful jailbreak tweaks on this list. Basically, if you're in an application with a long list view, like let's say for example, the music application. If you go in here and scroll down just a little bit on the library section, you're going to see a list of all the artists that you have content, either through Apple Music or installed on your device. And when you swipe through here, you can see that there's really no way to tell where you are. You're just kind of scrolling along the letters. Well, with Skippy, you can see that you get that nice little pop-up showing you which letter your finger is on at that moment. So if I want to go straight down to T's, for example, or F's or J's or whatever, letter you want to go to, you're going to see this little pop-up letting you know where you are on the list, so you're not just doing a blind guess of, well, I think I'm around this letter based on what's popping up on the screen. But Skippy is one of my favorite jailbreak tweaks for iOS 9. At number 3 is Color Flow 2, and this is by far the most beautiful jailbreak tweak on this list. Basically, whether you're in the music app in Spotify or listening to music on your lock screen, Color Flow takes specific colors from the album artwork and turns the controls and the volume slider and the pause and play buttons into those colors. So as you can see, listening to music becomes a whole lot more fun. If I just pull up any album on my device and start playing it, you can see that I get a completely redesigned music control view. And as you can see, it takes music listening to the next level. Because not only are you listening to awesome music, but switching songs or skipping through tracks is super enjoyable. So this is an awesome jailbreak tweak, and it definitely earns the number three spot here on our list. Number two here is Zeppelin, which I'm sure if you've been around jailbreaking for a while, you've definitely heard of and are super annoyed that I brought it up yet again, but it's honestly one of my favorite jailbreak tweaks ever. 
So of course it's going to be in my top jailbreak tweaks for iOS 9 video. However, if you have not heard of Zeppelin yet, it allows you to change your carrier logo in the status bar. It's one of my favorite jailbreak tweaks ever, and it almost got spot number one on this list. However, my favorite jailbreak tweak for iOS 9 as of right now at number one is 4C. This brings 3D touch gestures to any other device that's not the iPhone 6S or the iPhone 6S Plus. And you can set up the gesture in the preference panel for 4C so that when you long press on an app icon, you get those 3D touch shortcuts that I so love about the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6S Plus. But I think the thing that shocked me the most about 4C is how well this tweak is made. Because not only is it free, but it works on almost every app icon that would work on the newer iPhones. So on any device running iOS 9, you can use Force Touch on not only most of the stock apps, but you can also 3D Touch on third-party apps as well. You can see TweetBot is definitely not a stock app, but here on my iPod, if I do a long press, I can view these gestures on an iPod Touch 6. I don't know what it is about 4C, but the tweak just blows my mind. And if there's only one tweak that you try here on this list, and you're on a device other than the iPhone 6S or the iPhone 6S Plus, definitely head over to the Big Boss repo and give 4C a try. It's awesome. If you enjoyed watching this video, which it took me a while to put together, feel free to drop a like down below. And for more content on jailbreaking and iPhones and all kinds of fun Apple related stuff, make sure you've hit that subscribe button in case you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. Thanks so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day, guys, and I'll talk to you in the next one.